June 7th Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible Psalms chapter 48 and 49 from the Old Testament The Lord is great and certainly worthy of praise. In the city of our God, His holy hill, it is lofty and pleasing to look at, a source of joy to the whole earth. Mount Zion resembles the peaks of Zaphon. It is the city of the great king. God is in its fortresses. He reveals himself as its defender. For look, the kings assemble. They advance together. As soon as they see, they are shocked. They are terrified. They quickly retreat. Look at them shake uncontrollably, like a woman writhing in childbirth. With an east wind, you shatter the large ships. We heard about God's mighty deeds. Now we have seen them. In the city of the Lord, the invincible warrior, in the city of our God, God makes it permanently secure. Selah We reflect on your loyal love, O God, within your temple. The praise you receive as far away as the ends of the earth is worthy of your reputation, O God. You execute justice. Mount Zion rejoices. The towns of Judah are happy because of your acts of judgment. Walk around Zion, encircle it, count its towers. Consider its defenses, walk through its fortresses, so you can tell the next generation about it. For our God, our God is our defender forever. He guides us. Listen to this, all you nations. Pay attention, all you inhabitants of the world. Pay attention, all you people, both rich and poor. I will declare a wise saying. I will share my profound thoughts. I will learn a song that imparts wisdom. I will then sing my insightful song to the accompaniment of a harp. Why should I be afraid in times of trouble? When the sinful deeds of deceptive men threaten to overwhelm me, they trust in their wealth and boast in their great riches. Certainly a man cannot rescue his brother. He cannot pay God an adequate ransom price. The ransom price for a human life is too high and people go to their final destiny, so that he might continue to live forever and not experience death. Surely one sees that even wise people die. Fools and spiritually insensitive people all pass away and leave their wealth to others. Their grave becomes their permanent residence, their eternal dwelling place. They name their lands after themselves. But despite their wealth, people do not last. They are like animals that perish. This is the destiny of fools and of those who approve of their philosophy. Selah. They will travel to Sheol like sheep, with death as their shepherd. The godly will rule over them when the day of vindication dawns. Sheol will consume their bodies and they will no longer live in impressive houses. But God will rescue my life from the power of Sheol. Certainly he will pull me to safety. Selah. Do not be afraid when a man becomes rich and his wealth multiplies, for he will take nothing with him when he dies. His wealth will not follow him down into the grave. He pronounces this blessing on himself while he is alive. May men praise you, for you have done well. But he will join his ancestors. They will never again see the light of day. Wealthy people do not understand. They are like animals that perish. God, how fascinating this one little verse in, in these chapters that I just read. This is the destiny of fools and of those who approve of their philosophy. So not only is this psalm speaking to the rich who are worldly, who are seeking the world, but it also includes all the people who covet that lifestyle, who may not be rich themselves, but seek to be rich, want the fast cars, want the big houses, want the trips around the world, want the groupies, want the fame. Interestingly enough, we also approve of that philosophy of the people who are wealthy in our world here on earth by buying their music, by watching their TV shows, uh, by going to their movies. Um, for certain people, it may mean attending their church. 
and we are approving of that philosophy we're approving of that theology we're approving of that lifestyle we're approving of that doctrine so god please shine a light today in my life show me those areas where i am following worldly people instead of you why where i'm putting the lifestyle of the rich and famous as one of my gods out there in my life being here on earth and tempted by all these worldly things it's easy to to just get caught into watching tv or to just go to whatever movie's popular um, or to hang out and talk to your friends about whatever Yet I know you call us to live completely different lives than that, to be so incredibly different that it makes people look at us in bafflement almost as to how we live our lives. God, pull me to safety, as the psalm says. Pull me to safety away from those gods. Show me the philosophies I'm paying attention to, the, the worldly things I'm paying attention to, so that I can focus completely on you. Help guide me, help strengthen me against the incredible pull of the temptations here on earth. In your son's name I pray, amen.